Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. It's time for video number two in my tulip card series. In today's video, I'll be using Paper Rose Studios Tulip Border Number no. 2 die. I think this die set was released last year and I did pick it up, but I haven't used it yet, so I knew now was the perfect opportunity. The die will cut out a beautiful outline tulip border, and I think it works better horizontally on your card or project, but you could also feature it vertically. You would just need to trim off some of the tulips. For pattern paper, I'll be using Paper Rose Studios Rainbow Twirl Collection. I have the 12 by 12 size, but I believe it's also available in 6 by 6. The two designs I'm using from this collection have a colorful watercolor look to them. I've already trimmed off the panels I'll be using in this video, but here's what the rest of the sheet looks like. All of the pattern papers in the Rainbow Twirl Collection are double sided. There's a rainbow diagonal stripe on one side and rainbow polka dots on the back of the other sheet. I've already gone ahead and cut out the tulip border and I did use some white shimmer cardstock. And here's the panel I'm using for the background of my card from the beautiful pattern paper. This is five and a half inches by four and a quarter inches. The nice thing about the die, if you want a wider border underneath the tulips, you would simply place it higher up on your cardstock. I'll be covering up that section so I didn't need a wide border. I did put some double sided adhesive tape on the back of that narrow border. After removing the release paper, I'll put glue on the back of the tulips. I'm using Barely Art Craft Glue. Another option, since this is a delicate die, you could use double-sided adhesive sheets. I don't mind using liquid adhesive since Barely Art has the ultra-fine metal tip, easy to get just that tiny bit of glue on the backside of the die cut. After adhering it on the card, about three-fourths of an inch up from the bottom, I will place a large acrylic block on top for some added weight while the glue dries. And I didn't get that white border perfectly straight, but that's okay because I will be covering it up. Once the glue is dry, I notice part of that white border going off the edge of the panel. I'll simply flip it over, use my scissors, and trim it off. Next, I'll add a narrow strip of pink and white pattern paper. And this is actually the back side of the bottom of the 12 by 12 paper. It has the brand and also the name of the collection. I like that Paper Rose adds a pattern on the opposite side. That way you can use the entire piece of pattern paper. On the back side, I'm adding a narrow strip of white cardstock, leaving just a little gap at the very top. Now I'll put some double-sided adhesive tape on the back, remove the release paper, and add the pink and white strip at the bottom of the card. You can see now I'm covering up that narrow white border. And I did have a tiny bit of the pink and white paper hanging off the end. I simply flipped over the panel, used my scissors to trim it off. Now I'll flip over this panel, put ATG tape on the back, and add my card front onto a card base. For a little extra detail, I'll be adding a white splatter all over the background. I'm using Spellbinder's Splatter White Opaque Watercolor. The mix is super concentrated, so you only need a tiny bit. I'll dip my paintbrush in there, put a little bit on an acrylic block, spritz it with some water, mix it up, then I'll gently tap my paintbrush over my card. I've tried several different white watercolor mixes, and sometimes that white just disappears once it's dry but that doesn't happen with Spellbinder's Splatter White Watercolor. And this is an easy technique to add fun detail to your card or project. I did set aside my card so it would dry completely. Sometimes I get a little impatient and I don't let the paint dry completely, but I was good this time. 
For a sentiment, I'm using Paper Roses black and white sentiment sheets. They offer a wide variety of different sentiment sheet packs, and this set has a ton of sentiment. For my card, I selected You Are the Reason I Smiled Today. I have the white text with the black background. I did put some double-sided adhesive tape on the back side. I'll remove the release paper and adhere it in the lower right-hand corner. So there is my finished card, and I did make four using this design. The backgrounds are all different, and so are the sentiments. If you need to make some quick and beautiful cards, this is a perfect design. Lovely pattern paper, a fun die cut, and a sentiment cut apart, and your card is finished. If you are interested in any of the products I used in this video, I do have links in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.